Hello and welcome to Good Clean Gaming. I'm your host, Jalindo, and today we're playing more FTL. So, we're in the last sector. We're going to go after the flagship. And I'm going to go ahead and upgrade some stuff. Wish we could we could have sold those swarm missiles. We're gonna, probably not going to use them. And we need to upgrade our systems. So, I would like to upgrade the engines all the way. Just because I think that's going to help us more than anything else left at this point. So that's one, two, one, two, one. That's good enough. Oh, we're not going to have enough to power it fully. It's fine. So hopefully we'll get a little more scrap and we can get the rest of our power bars. Let's move on. It's hard to tell which uh, who is winning in the nearby battle. Before you have a chance to figure it out, a fighter moves in to attack. All right, let's take him out. Shields, burst laser on shields. We'll keep the heavy lasers on the weapons and take those out. With so much going on with these bigger ships and with the drones and everything, sometimes it's harder to keep your weapons firing appropriately, and so I, I tend to use auto fire a little bit more later on in the game. Probably need to move Psy in there to help take that out. Uh, Lagardi, no. Moves King in there. And we'll move Tack in there. Yes. No. Let's move this guy, Lagardi. Hopefully they can get it all repaired. Is everybody okay? We lost oxygen in there. Hopefully we can get that patched up pretty quick. And then get those guys out of there. Yeah, let's get those, let's get oxygen kind of fixed up here. And we're going to move several of these guys back to get healed. And then we'll move Lagardian to get healed too, as soon as they get done. We need to put power to the med bay. Looks like our weapons are doing their job. Thankfully, we don't have to pay too much attention to them. Oh! Yowza, Saheen, get, get to work in there, man. We'll get Lagardi out to the medical area. Send King back over there to the to the engines, right? No, Shelton. Shelton, go back to the engines. We're in all kind of hurt right now. Bring that guy down, come on. So we did it. Let's get everybody patched up. Okay, let's send everybody back to their stations. Get the people who are injured patched up. Oh boy, tense. Some of these, some of these ships get really tough. Okay, save those positions. Jump. We got a base here. I kind of want to engage. Did we lose a repair station already? I think we lost a repair station. That's fine. I kind of want to stay between the base and the, the flagship. If he comes this way, hopefully he will. That way, at least I'm kind of close to this repair base down here. I, hope he, I just hope he moves the right way. Federation ships are scarce in this region of space. Despite a number of civilian space stations, you see a small... Bomber squadron engaged with some Federation scouts and quickly move in to assist. So let's take him down. I just want to get down his, his shields permanently. Miss, miss, miss. Oh, I can take one off the med bay, put it on the engines, make this harder to hit. You know, I would be doing a lot better if I actually held all of my weapons to fire at the same time. In fact, I might start doing that instead. It's just hard to focus on stuff like that during these bigger battles. It really is. Yep, 
That was pretty effective. We win. No damage. Three fuel, two missiles, 64 scrap. Sweet. Get those last two power bars. Perfect. And that's it. That's that's as much as we can upgrade. I mean, we can upgrade med bay to make it a little better, I suppose. We'll have to switch stuff in and out because we can't get any more power in these engines. All right. He seems to be going here. So let's stop by at the base, see if they got anything for us, say hi, and then fly over and stop him one sector away. You arrive near the Federation base to find both of their fleets skirmishing with rebel forces. You hang back near the far side of the moon to avoid conflict. There's not much you can do to help in that battle, and your mission holds the key to turn the tide of the war. You prepare to face the flagship. Right next door, right? Yep, exactly what I wanted. Exactly where I wanted him. Let's go over there and confront the boss. This is it. Rebel flagship. If you are able to destroy this monstrosity, the Federation fleet will have a chance of surviving. There's no turning back. I paused it. Okay. Confession time. I have never actually beat the boss of this game. I always seem to get to him, and uh, on any, no matter what difficulty level I play, I get to this guy, and I just got, I just get blown to, sm blown to smithereens. So this should be interesting, quote unquote. How about let's get his shields down, and then get the med bay down, so these guys in the middle can't repair themselves, can't heal themselves, and go from there. See what happens. Let's let's not make that mistake again. I'll keep the ion blast shooting at the shields always, and I'll just use the lasers whenever they're ready, all at the same time. Oh, come on. Don't kill Sai Hing. I can't get him out of there. Damage his crew. Yeah, I, I can't really do anything about it because I can't get him out of that room, can I? Nope. That's frustrating. Bye, Sai Hing. We lost one. We lost our security officer. Mm, that's rough. Okay, burst laser. Damaged him a little bit. They really got got the fire going here, though. Man. That was a bad start. Get Envoy out of there. He's not, not going to make it. Oh, boy. Maybe we can get, get Ohm to kill some of these fires. Get Envoy somewhere where he can survive. Move this guy out. We just gotta get get them out of there. Wow, I'm getting pounded. And you can see now why I didn't want to play a normal. <laughs> it's because of this reason right here. Kind of hard to do this without I, I, with a cloaking device and teleportation. It would a teleport bay. It would it would go a lot better. But it's very difficult to do this without either because you just get hammered. Fires and everything. I, I can't use that yet. All right. Firing. I don't think I can survive this. I can't even open this door. It's just going to keep burning me out. Envoy can move somewhere else, can't he? Of course. I got to get somebody to fix the O2. It's going to have to be Ohm. Because he's the only guy that can survive without oxygen.
Wow. Man. Come on, Ohm. Get the auction up. That was a good hit. Finally got him. Okay, close all the doors. Can someone please get the shields up? We need someone on shields. Who's normally on shields? Oh boy. Did our shields guy die? Is it King? Is he normally on shields? Not in any condition to do shields right now with the no oxygen problem we have down there. Now we can. Get him down there. Who's normally on engines? Shelton. Shelton could probably do it. Let's get him over there. Get Ohm back to the bridge. His shields are down. Let's destroy that. Uh, destroy the med bay. Oh boy. I lost somebody, didn't I? I did. Hmm. That was painful. All right, so that's the first phase of the boss. Let's see how I do next time on Good Clean Gaming. If you enjoyed this video, by the way, uh, there are two more phases. That was just the first phase. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and remember, keep it clean.